the final rehearsals for Dancing with the Stars. Entertainment guru George Pinocchio is live in Hollywood where he's been watching the four finalists perfect their routines. George. All right, thank you, David and Ellen. The final four are rehearsing right now at the rehearsal hall behind me here in Hollywood. To say they're a little stressed, I think, is an accurate statement, but it's been a really busy day here, and I'm in the middle, in fact, of doing interviews with all four of the final teams. Now, so far, we've talked with two of the couples who are hoping to win the Mirrorball Trophy. There is still a camaraderie in this competition, but right now, there really only seems time to rehearse. The teams will dance three times on Monday, a judge's favorite, a cha-cha relay dance, and the freestyle. The countdown is on. For our final performance, I really want to draw people in. I want to go the opposite way with it and, and, and pull them inside the dance and, and to really showcase her ability and really just how amazing you know, she is at, at this dance dancing. And she's never danced before, which I forget. I feel like the trophy is nice to say that you have, but my main goal is to inspire the little kids that are watching me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a positive role model for them, and I want them to see someone their age working hard and, you know, showing that age doesn't really define what you can do. Everybody's each other's cheerleaders, and we've all embraced one another. It's, it's good. It's a fun, it's, it's not so much of a competition, um, I don't know, it, I mean it is, but we haven't taken the fun out of it. I want them to get chills when they watch us dance, uh, that's, that's my biggest thing. If you get chills, then, then we already won, then I know it's a successful number. I want all eyes on her throughout the entire thing so that the people really appreciate how she dances, how she feels, how she, how she performs.